Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be slightly epic I think. Um, we will see. We'll see how long it is. If it's too ridiculous I'll split it up into two parts maybe. But as promised when I did my craft room tour I asked you guys if you wanted to see my um, decluttered books and my opinions on my colouring supplies and everybody said yes so my colouring book declutter is already up on the channel I'll link that down below if you're interested and today I am going to go through the colouring supplies that I own and have and let you know what I love what I don't what is just poo and um, what I'm keeping what I'm not um so I use acrylic paint pens. We're just going to jump into this or we'll be here all day, guys. Disclaimer, I'm a hobbyist. Um, this is just my opinion. I'm not sponsored in any way. Uh, you know, I just like what I like. I don't like what I don't. As a colourist, I'm not really interested in light fast, perfect pigment, anything like that. I just colour. Um, so none of that is really, you know, a factor into what I keep and what I don't. It's just what I like. Uh, right, so I like to use paint pens. I've tried a couple of brands now, um, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be really honest. I don't like having to pay for Posca, but I don't like using anything else. I have the 1M size, which is the small. Um, the... 5m which is a medium um, and just in the black I have this big ridiculous guy because sometimes I do black backgrounds and this is the 7m Ugh. dude that I have um, just in a black I have lots of colours because I bought a couple of different sets over time I don't like to unseal unpack or activate my pens till I'm going to use them always shake your pen before you so you're going to get a watery mess because it separates like any kind of paint substance and you're just getting the um, water if you don't remember to shake them pretty much almost every time you're going to use them to be honest don't over activate them you'll end up with splodges everywhere do not activate them on your page i was considering at some point i might do a posca like tips and tricks kind of thing but that's essentially it and these work the best for me because of the nib type they're like a fiber nib whereas the other couple of brands that i've tried they were a plastic nib and they're lovely to start with, they work really well and then the next time you go to use them, they're clogged, they're bitter, these just keep um, that resilient wet nib that actually works time and time again. And I've had a couple of my Posca for a while now and they work really well and I use them. So I just bought my colours in Posca, sod it. Um, I also have a couple of Faber-Castell pens in white. Um, if you want these to colour white lines, things like that, I wouldn't advise them. They're not cheap. Um, they're lovely pens, probably. I don't. I only have these white ones, and I got them for kind of concealing. It's not something that I would use them for, and they just sit in here. Uh, I have this Molotov liquid chrome. Uh, mirror effect pen in this kind of fine liner nib and I love this bad boy he's amazing not cheap not cheap at all um, they do other acrylic pens also not cheap at all but I am really considering trying them not that I need any but you know it's me and then I have this I saw this on uh, Colour My World's channel and uh, it looked really good, so I grabbed it, and it was. This is the Deco Color Premium Prime Premier Gold Pen. Uh, it's an oil-based opaque metallic paint marker, and it is exactly what it says it is. It's a chisel, and it's gorgeous. You get a really good gold metallic proper sheen. In fact. Let me see now, I have a page. 
this is this is using that pen look how smooth it is love it um so yeah definitely um I'm just putting my stuff back on I'll end up with stuff everywhere so definitely a yes for me and everything in this drawer I love and I'm keeping I tend to like to have kind of beiges and whites black is something I use a lot my silver gold I have in these so although I have silver and gold in my Posca I'm not gonna lie I haven't even tried them yet because I don't see the reason to have you know 15 million things unwrapped at the moment because you know it just shortens the life of them and they will go off and i'm happy with what i'm using i just have some interesting colors for use so that is my poskers just going draw by draw guys gel pens yep uh, i have another set of like my posh gel pens that we will get to later these are like cheapy gel pens so my favorite cheapy gel pens are color technic and chromatech they're both very inexpensive you can get refills it's just they're unavailable a lot of the time i tried the orteza cheapy gel pens didn't like those they stop store all the time not a fan gave them away so they're already gone a lot of these are just you, you know what I mean, like the big cheap packs um, that you get, like the 100 packs of just cheap um, gel pens. And I only really like glitter or metallic gel pens. I don't really use. Uh, I'm not a fan of neon, I tend to give them away and I don't really buy the normal ones anymore. Having said that, I bought a while back um, a set of Oh Hoo Hoo um art gel pens and they came with some silver some gold some white and some fluorescence and that was actually a really nice set i also have some of my overflow um sakura jelly roll here because they're neon and i don't tend to use them um and just because i had so many they wouldn't fit in my pack but apart from that um yeah nothing's going i've had a big i know it doesn't seem like it but i had about three times the amount of this this isn't as deep as it looks although pretty deep um and i have gotten rid of a massive bag of gel pens and when i say gotten rid of i mean found people to use them i don't believe in throwing your art supplies in the bin unless they've had it which to be honest i try i really do my best not to keep things past their okay point so that i can either get them used or give them to someone while they're still at that point where they're good quality not as in like starting to turn so the person thinks it's not a nice item um and then finally i have these spectrum noir sparkle pens um i got a three pack of these a while ago i only like the clear ones uh, i put them over color i don't like to have them be colors um, and i do really like those they're essentially a brush pen with glitter gel in there and they are very nice and i keep that i have a knockoff version of it as well and although not quite as nice and glittery um it's still you know it's nice enough and it is usable i think it is in here somewhere what's it called art sensations i do believe i bought those from the range uh, and I've got a couple of overflow white gel pens in here. Ooh, my Uniball. I don't know why he's in here. I wonder if he's nearly out. Did not realise I had one with some left. Pop him to one side. The Uniball are my favourite white gel pens. So I'm now just going to just make sure. Uh, I do have a couple of the colours of those spectrum noir markers uh, this is what color are you rose quartz i had a blue a green and a pink i gave the blue and green away because i um, just didn't like them haven't activated the pink yet on the fence about whether i'm going to or whether i just find it at home while it's brand new hmm. will i use it i'm going to put that to one side and decide right let's see oh well 
sure you guys know how I feel about this. Right. Yes, this is a ridiculous amount. <laughs> they're not that old, which is probably worse, but uh, they're not that old. They're all creamy, beautiful, perfectly working goodness, and I'm keeping them all. I have in my gel crayons Faber-Castell Gelatos. I do really like these. Um, they're expensive, though, so hence my options but they are very nice they can be a little bit chunkier weirdly enough but they do blend into each other very nicely i've got some of these king art and the only reason i grabbed these is because i found them for a really inexpensive price on tk max because otherwise these are i'm just going to say it like ridiculously priced and I've seen them at nearly like £80 for a, a pack of these. No. They're so similar to all the others. I do not find that that could possibly be worth it. And it's why I didn't own any. Even I'm not that crazy. They are beautiful colours. Um, they're quite a nice, you know, adult range of gel crayons. Because you get those more toned vintage colours to them. Like jewel colours. But then, you know compared to some of the cheap things you can get that will do what you need especially you know in my colouring box I'm, I don't need them that badly that I'm going to pay that much money I have two packs of the Distress, Distress Crayons by Ranger um, I have the black white grey set and then I have like a set of vintage uh, I think you get a blue and a green and a yellow and something else Oh, hang on. Uh, trying to work this out now. Not sure which came with which, but I've got the two sets of these. And again, these are these are lovely. Um, they're very nice, but they're akin to everything else, and they're not cheap. Each four pack of these can be between ten to sixteen pounds. I've seen. Um and you're not getting a ridiculous amount in here at least these are quite big i just i haven't collected any further because yeah i mean these i got 12 of these for 20 pounds and i bought a pack of four of these for 12 pounds and you know gelettos have this kind of reputation for being really expensive but yeah they um sneak under the radar do these somehow getting by in little sets i think so gorgeous but i've not been collecting them because i don't want to pay that much when i already have these and then we've got a couple of budget beauties we have the silky crayons by tbc crafts and we have the shuttle art set and then i have this set and it's a german set and i can't remember the name um usually pops up on amazon but to be honest it's the same as these so it doesn't matter um these are ridiculously inexpensive and wonderfully good like i say they're not like fast so you know they're not going to be the artist's choice um, but they create beautiful backgrounds. They go down quite nicely. They smooth out really nicely. You need to remember I use mine dry. So um, as a wet medium. Yes these are probably going to be far superior. But like, if you want to have a play and a try. Is you know £15 for about 40 crayons. Going to give you what you need to use them in your books. Yes it is. Um, and... I have a, a vast array of rather expensive and rather cheap gel crayons and I intermingle these all together all the time. I don't find myself just reaching for these or these. Um, I use all sorts so keeping them. Sticky fingers are holding on to those. That brings me to my ink collection. <laughs> right. You guys know I also make cards now. I do have a card channel that I'm always mentioning if you're interested. It's always in the description down below. Um, so obviously I am using more ink than I used to because I've never really colour with ink. But 
For my cards, I have these Spectrum Noirs that seem quite nice, so I'm keeping. That is um, an embossing sticky ink. The Sizzix, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure that it's um, maybe my favourite. I'm considering getting the um, Suki Nako version that I've heard good things about. This is Versafine, a black detail pigment ink, and this thing is absolutely beautiful for stamping this i would highly recommend this is the onyx black and it's for fine details so when you're stamping it gives you that really beautiful crisp black line that these will not and uh that is essentially the only one i ever use for stamping down my images i love this one uh, but for blending i do really like these mementos the sukineko dewdrop inks i've got quite a few sets of these now going on um these are just like little mini inks and they work beautifully for my purposes i blend these with a brush or the little foam dobbers and you get really lovely results i'm a paper craft society subscription member now so i've had a few of these i haven't used those yet and i do have this nouveau one that came in my tonic um subscription box that i also haven't used this yet but i bet got a feeling that's going to be very pretty so i'm keeping them these are <laughs> these are a really cheap set that I got from Amazon absolutely years ago. Years ago. This is how long my, my card making's been going on a very long time. But the thing is that I was buying stuff for card making and then not making cards. Does that make sense? Do you do that for your hobbies, guys? Do you have a hobby that you kind of have that really you don't actually do? You just buy things that you fancy for it every now and again so let's see i've opened one of these bad boys after all this time it's been sealed but it's probably about seven or eight years old at least <laughs> at least it might be nine ten You know, I mean, it has a bit of colour to it, but will I use them? No. Do I want to pass them to a human when I've had them for that long? Not really. Is it time to get rid of them? Yes, I think it is. Let's uh, let's check out this glittery gold before we do, though. I'm just curious at this point. <laughs> and I have six of those. No, eight of those, I think. Like I say, I mean, they were very cheap a very long time ago and then they've just never been used i can't even break into this one this one is so old it doesn't even want to let me in um sorry for the noise guys let's i might have to use scissors 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 see if we can get into here wow We're nearly there, guys. I'm getting there. Oh my god. Right, okay. Not good at packaging. So, we've got this like glittery. I can imagine this being completely solid by now. <laughs> I mean, it's quite dry, but the, the life is there. <laughs> just but yeah i think with obviously the quality of other things i have now and the age difference to them they it's time for those to go so we're going to peel these out of here like i said there's no point having things we're not ever going to use i don't want to give them to someone they're too old so they will have to go um, I do have one pack of Distress Inks. I've got the black brown set. Um, and these do blend out nicely. I just, you know, I think I got a pack of, I, you can get a set of 12 of these. Is it 12? Do you get more? Yeah, no, it's, you get 12 of these for usually about £19. 
Um, and this four pack cost me, I think it was 12 or 13. So it just made me purchase the Sukine Kos kind of automatically while I wasn't sure if I was going to use anything. And then once I started my card making, obviously I bought a few more packs knowing that I was using inks more and I just automatically then kind of veered towards the Suki Nako that I was used to at that point. But I do like the Distress Inks. Whether I collect any is a, a different matter, but we will see. So, we'll pop those back. I think it's a given that my pan pastel selection will be staying. Uh, again, these are these are expensive, um, and these are artist grade. Um, they are beautiful. I don't use them a whole lot, so I assume they'll last me forever. I'm hoping they don't really go off. Probably. They probably last you a long time because they are a dry medium. Um, so I like them. I haven't used them enough yet to love them, I think is the answer to these. It's one of those, they're quite a new medium to me. They're a dry medium, which I prefer. But I just think I need to play with them. And, um, you know, usually once I get into a medium, I do want to love it. So I just need to play and decide. I have random felt tips draw. I hardly ever really use these. Like rare, rare, rare. I use these for kind of Belba family books, you know, the puzzles that you do the crosses with. So I do like to have them. I've got some random highlighters in here, which I'm a, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit childish. I got this pastel set of highlighters that I love way more, so they can go. <laughs> I have nieces and nephews that um, stuff like this gets passed along to. I have a couple of completely unopened packs of pens there that came with the books, I believe. So, seeing as they're all nice and shiny and new and packed up, I might give those to, in fact, I will, I will give those to a local charity um you know like shelters and homes and things because for kids it's nice to it's nice to get anything but it's even nicer to get something that's clearly new <laughs> you know what i mean as as a kid it's just that bit more special isn't it so as soon as i haven't opened them and they're completely new um they can go these i've had for a while so i will just keep and use um these are actually a knockoff version of Crayola. I know such a thing exists. Fiber color, they're called. Um, much cheaper over here than the Crayola. Can actually be quite expensive, to be honest, for a budget brand. Um, and I got, I think they do this in a hundred pack. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they're exactly the same as Crayola Super Tips. There's no difference in it, and they're very good. So I, I do tend to use those if I'm going to use any um, but these are just nice for that kind of finer I like a felt tip when I'm doing like cross method in books I have found myself doing them less and less lately so I will hang on to those for now and if I'm just really not using those books we will have to evaluate to the end of my um, draw apart from this ridiculousness <sighs> I've had the stuff in here for a while this was my original marker set these are a hoo hoo water based markers and you get the brush and the fine liner um, these are actually, oh, sorry for the noise, um, a beautiful set of water-based markers. They came in a nice case as well, um, but I don't really use them. I mean, if I'm ever going to colour in something, it's always alcohol marker, or I'm just doing a colour by number in felt tip. 
So while they're still viable, I'm going to pass those along. I also have this set of natural brush pens. These were just a cheap um, water brush yeah, that I got some time ago. I haven't used these for a while and they may be past their prime at this point. Oh no, I think I'll have to go through which work and which don't. As I think it's probably going to be a bit of 50-50. These you can actually paint onto a palette um, and use with a water brush. So if any of those are viable, I will pass those on. Um, because to be honest, I have these Stettler... Uh, sorry, it's Stabilo fine liners, and I really like these. If I'm going to use a fine liner, it's usually these. These are my favourites uh, for that really, really good fine detail. I do also have the Arteza Inconic fine liners, and they're a little bit thicker, so I'll keep those and the rest can go. I do have a selection of Sharpies in here and I occasionally use them but not often but I collected them and I do use them and I am getting rid of these and the water brush pens so I may keep those for now. They're nice for mandalas. Um, these however are metallic pens. You guys know how I feel about that and the absolute con that they generally are. These um, Spectrum Noir ones, absolutely no, they're going. Um, these Deco Time ones, however, you get the normal pen on one end and the metallic on the other. And they weren't so bad, to be honest, for metallic. You can see that kind of pretty shine to them. I was quite impressed, especially because they weren't expensive. Um, but I don't use them, so we're going to pass them on. So I'm going to not do all that on camera because it's boringly tedious, but I will sort that after. Um, and this has all my colourless blenders in it, which I will keep. So I'll put those in the top of there to sort through and pass on. That is my floorboard by the way, I'm not making funny noises that I shouldn't be. Uh, right. I have my drawer of random bits and pieces after that. Uh, let us see. Right, I have an original set of Brute Funa oil pencils. And it pains me. I love these pencils. But I have so many different sets of Brute Funa now that I do not find myself using these at all. And I know I know a person that would like them. So, they're going to have to go <sighs> before I change my mind. Um, I have some a, a pack of Crayola crayons here. And some of the twistables. I bought these in mind for a project a while ago. Um, and I just don't use them. So as I say, I've got some nieces and nephews that would rather enjoy those. And I'm going to pass those on as well. Right. I then have my set of Faber-Castell Classic Colour. These aren't a rich colour payoff. And I don't really use them, especially compared to some of the many things that I have. Um, I haven't used them in forever. But there's a couple more papers I want to try them on for my what pencil, what paper <laughs> for you guys. So I'm going to hold on to those for science for now. Um, and then I have this really funky set of magic pens and they're the uh the koino kind of um multicolor leads in the jumbo 
I have some Crayola Twistables. These were surprisingly okay, but I'm going to pass those on. I'm not going to use them. Um, and I do have a very small set of Crayola. You guys know I'm not a Crayola fan. Uh, but again, for science, um, I could probably do with retaining those for use in some colouring books so I can work on my what pencils, what paper. Um, because I think Although, obviously, I could also use these for that. I think most people by now either have the black barrel versions of these or the square brutes or the 520 or the macaron, which I have all of those. So they can go, this box of uh, multiple goodness can go. I will keep, <laughs> not a favourite, but I will keep these. Um... This is my kind of excess runoff from my Lyra Polycolor because these are all kind of um, soft pastel and bits and pieces that you get in the Atelier set. This must have been a project that I was working on at some point. Hmm, probably going to regret, but they can go. Have to rematch it. I do have the um, the Giotto Still Novo skin tones in here. I don't really use now I've got my Lumis but again for science don't know what to do about these they are so fun but will I use them knowing I've got a couple of young family members that would probably really like these it kind of sways me usually into passing things along yeah we'll find i have a little girl <laughs> in mind for those shall we say so they can go trying to be good guys Trying to be good about it. Right, let's see now. These are just my spare jaws and my diamond painting stuff. We will pop this stuff to go off to one side. And then I'm going to start through my drawers. I'm really sorry for the squeakiness of these ridiculous Alex drawers. Right, in here I have a set of... The Brute Funa Black Barrel. These are kind of my go-to when I'm sat at my desk and I need a specific colour. Um, I pull them out of here. So I will be keeping that set over the other set because they are more recent and you can still get those. I've got a massive tub full of washi tape and I'm keeping it all okay. This brings us to my interesting drawer. I'm pretty sure, although I should do, I'm probably not passing any of these along there with me. Let's see what we have going on in here. Right. Okay, well, starting with, I have the Neo Colour 2's 30 set here. Um, I mean, these are gorgeous, water-soluble Caran d'Ache crayons. They're not cheap. Quite a few of mine came broke, which hurts my heart. But unfortunately, it's just one of those things. Um, I still use the ends. I just put them into pencil extenders. So don't throw your bits away, um, for sure. <laughs> and I haven't played with these an awful lot. You guys know me in water. Doesn't happen all that often. But I have been expanding into that territory. So I am most certainly keeping those i have the mungyo soft pastel which i actually use quite often it's kind of becomes habit after a while they were the first set i got they're a budget set of uh, pastels that you get from amazon and they're wonderful little things um and i use them even now even having pan pastel so would not swap those for the world keeping those um, I have 
very recently purchased the Mung Your Soft Oil Pastels and I have those on my side to play and try. Um, and the only other set that I have is this set of Pentel Oil Pastels here. I never use oil pastels so I have the two sets now that you know I think will probably last me forever. Um, I need to play and try and decide if I actually like oil pastel and you know kind of go from there really on which set I keep but for now we will keep both and then I have a few sets of metallic watercolours. Before that I have this giant Davenport birthday suit. This is a soft pastel palette. It came broke which again unfortunate but I think it did come from America so you kind of got no chance that your soft pastel is going to come all the way here in one piece so this was always gone but I haven't actually used this and I've had it a while. So really now that I have started using um, pastels in my skin I will pull this aside to have a play. We'll see about doing a video on it I guess and we will see how we feel about that one. Right, when using watercolour I essentially just like mine for embellishments and I like metallic glittery watercolours. I have this set here from the Art Spirits, this is hella expensive but they are beautiful paints except for the black back the black shift ones I wasn't keen on those but I love her glitters and her bright metallics and they are beautiful keeping. I have a set of the Colero um, pearl colours I think they call them, a set of 12 because I managed to bag that for a reasonable price because for they tend to be quite expensive to these to be honest and they are nice, they're very very nice, can I get them open? Um, but obviously with the price I haven't collected any more but I do like this set and I am keeping. I did also purchase these Komorebi uh, classic metallics and these were really inexpensive in the range store and they are big boy pants like that is one full big pan. They're not very full. <laughs> But it'll still, you know, it'll last you a good long time and they are the set I have of those. I have this really beautiful Japanese set. I got this from Amazon. This is the Shadow Black set, 15452. And this is the Black Shift watercolours. This is the only non-metallic set that I have and each colour shifts to black beautiful called they use that as well not gonna lie i have this uh, more budget set of 36 colors from grabby um i do have a video showing you guys this because they sent me this so you can check that video out uh, i've swatched them all and i do really like this i've used these a couple of times in books They're quite you know you get a good array of colors and they were about half the price of this set. Now don't get me wrong, if you're doing artwork that needs to keep, these will probably, you know, be your paint of choice. But, you know, for something, I just want a little bit of gold in a, a colouring book around the edges. These work beautifully for me. And I was quite impressed with the array of colours you get. I'm also quite pleased with very small things like the fact that your pans lift out. You don't actually have to keep them in this really big bulky case if you don't want to. It did come with bushes and things that I have shifted. Ugh. Come on guys. Right, no. Emma, behave. Do it that way. I do, however, have this beautiful Paul Rubin set. I've had this a while and I haven't got around to it yet, but I am going to swatch this out with you guys on the channel at some point, I promise. You get them in these beautiful cases with the ring holder. Um, you get it with a chamois cloth and this contains 
the metallics. I believe this one is, let me see, how many are in this set? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 24. So this is the 24 set of metallics. Gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Um, this was a beautiful gift from my lovely friend. I've used this a couple of times as well and been completely happy with the results. But again, not, not as cheap an option as some. But definitely keeping. I like the box as well. That's why. That's why they're always in the box, even though they're used. Um, right. So that is those. Didn't think I'd get rid of anything out of there, did I? And I was right. Uh, so everything's going back in that drawer. Bear with me, guys. I have to put things away as I go, or we'll just enter into chaotic madness uh, right diamonds painting things i think for the drawers that might be about it i do have this really very recent purchase this really cute set of finger dobbers <laughs> um and they come in this really useful little case i got these primarily for blending inks in cards but i mean they would work really nicely on your page with your distress inks i reckon and i'm probably going to have a go with that so i have those keeping love just for the cute factor to be honest um i'm not going to go through embellishments because you know I have this set of Arteza paints, they're, no, nope, that's not an Arteza paint, um, they came in a set of, um, what's the word, they are like colour shift pearlescents, so Arteza acrylic colours premium and they're all like, um, you know, they've got that sheen in them and they're nice, I'm not, I don't use paint very often but I do want to use them a bit more so I am going to keep my paints I've got a couple of pearlescent like De La Rowney colours that I'm going to keep and very recent purchase I grabbed some of these Sizzix texture paints just in the three colours to try so keeping those they seem quite interesting Excuse the noise, I think my dog is about to join us. Um, yeah, then the only other thing I have is a couple different sets of mica powders. Um, and these can come in very handy for kind of adding to like your white paint, things like that. Um, the others I have are just cheap ones in bags. And this was uh, a cheap set in bottles that I got. Um, I use these for numerous things, but you get that kind of gorgeous sheen to them and they're all pearlescent shine colours I liked this set because it actually came with a silver a gold and bronze flakes which is nice so I have those and I'm keeping those again a very recent purchase haven't played with those really yet Okay, what do we have left? We have alcohol markers. So, I can already tell you right now, I have this big set here of dun dun dun, Lightwish markers. Uh, and if you've been watching my videos, you know these have been buckling my pages like mad. And it's been driving me crazy. It's not the end of the world. They're lovely markers, lovely colours. But I have a few other sets. So I'm going to let those go. And the other set that I've decided to part with also. Oh, these bad boys. 
I have the touch now. I've had a love-hate relationship with these since the beginning. All the red, yellow, orange colours bleed through your pages for weeks after. So I've left pages in between my pages for weeks, taken them out and it still yellows the page behind. I mean, give them points for going power, but it's finally come to the point where it has driven me to distraction and they are going to have to go. Yes, they are. It's a definite. <laughs> They must leave. Um, now, I have a couple of old sets. I have my original Lemache Twin Markers. Love these things. They are still going strong, the ones that I haven't used up. Um, I don't have that many left now. And I'm still working on just using up the ones I have. I have them paired with my original set of our hoo hoo art markers these are all just the fine tip and chisels um this was a relatively large set i purchased not long after these and they were my original two sets that i had for some time and i really like the oh hoo hoo obviously i don't have that to compare to things like copic i don't have those um but I haven't felt the need for them. I'm happy with what I've got and I'm just working my way through using up what's left of these two sets. I have this set of uh, stationary sketch markers, stationary island sketch markers. Um, I've had those a little bit but not used them a whole lot. They seem all right from what I've seen but Obviously, until I've played with them more, I've not really formed an opinion on them. And I will continue to try them out. A very, very recent purchase, if you've seen my haul, I bought this set of illustrator markers by Spectrum Noir. I bought the 36 set, I believe it is. Um, haven't used those yet, so keeping those. I have the set of... Ortex skin tones and I have the Ortex these um it's either the A or the B set might be the B set um and I do really enjoy these I use the skin tone ones quite often and I have liked these when I use them so far they come in lovely display boxes that are very user friendly so I haven't had to buy anything to sit them in which is also very nice so I'm keeping both of those sets and then I have this bad boy I bought the Ohuhu brush marker alcohol set this is my most recent big alcohol marker purchase as i said i really like the or who who and i really wanted to play with the brush marker version so i do believe i think this is the 216 set was the biggest at the time but they're always always constantly increasing their set size so i think they do an even bigger set already i think this does have the pastel and the skin tone colours included in this set, I believe. And uh, yeah, and it came in this, this insert was inside the bag. So I just pulled the insert out, turned it on its side because you don't want to store your multicookers vertical for too long. And I just store it like that on my shelf. So again, because I haven't had to purchase any expensive container for it, it's already in my good box and I do love that and I am keeping it. Right guys, for the final part, I'm going to move you. Bear with me. Okay guys, this is where we get a little bit shaky uh, because I've come off the tripod for this bit. I'm going to go very quickly through my pencils. Um, I have the Phoenix colour set, very new to me. Haven't really used them yet, keeping. I mean, I'm going to say that a lot. I have the Castle Arts. Not a favourite. They're just... Mm, if I was going to pick something like that, I'd rather use my Alteza Expert. 
Um, but again, because of my channel, I keep those. That is an empty case waiting for my super colours to go in, which I have off to one side and I'm keeping those bad boys. Uh, recent acquisition of the Spear of Farben pencils. Love those. Really nice. They're expensive over here though, so I wouldn't recommend paying about £80 for them. You know how I feel about my Brute Funa Squares gorgeous pencils. I have three extra sets of those waiting in the background. Uh, I have the Koinor Polycolor. These are a nice pencil. They're a bit hard to get. They're not my favourite. Um, but they are lovely and I do use them. I'm keeping them. I've got my Tombow Erositon. I never use these. They're not a favourite. They're a very hard pencil. Lovely for fine detail. Do need to pull them out a bit more. Again, not getting rid of pencils. It's not happening. Uh, Prismacolor. Have found a coloured paper that I like these on and I'm enjoying my Prismacolor a lot more than I used to. They are beautiful, soft, creamy pencils though. Uh, the Crayart set, the 120, they are a really nice budget pencil. They're essentially very similar to your Sioux Colour, your Brute Funa Black Barrel pencils. Um, they're all the same sort of field and they are nice for cheap pencils. My Polychromos by Faber-Castell one of my absolute favourite set of pencils these are expensive they're very good they're an oil base so they're a little bit firmer and they're more for layering and these are gorgeous i have the karen dash pablos i don't use those as often as some of my pencils but they are always beautiful when i do and i do like them they are expensive though and to be honest for the price if i was picking pencils they wouldn't be the one i would go with <laughs> um i have this set of coloria imagino pencils they are really nice for a budget set of pencils they come in this beautiful case there are 72 set those um very kind of along the lines of castle or and arteza but tend to be um i think they tend to be cheaper if you grab them in a sale uh, and they work really nicely over alcohol markers in here, I have my luminance paired up with my uh, my Karen Dash luminance paired up with my Derwent, Derwent Lightfast. Gorgeous sets of pencils. I do prefer my luminance over the Lightfast, but they're both a gorgeous set. Very expensive, um, artist grade pencils, but uh, they are beautiful. I have the entire set of Black Widows. That consists of the Dragon set, the Monarch set. The Cobra, Scorpion and bl original Black Widow set and the dark and light skin tones. I know, crazy. Um, beautiful pencils though, but by the time you are done, I would not equate these to a budget set. They are, once the collection's complete, rather expensive and, you know, they're not easy to purchase separately. Although at least you can get the little sets usually on their own uh, widely available at amazon this this bad boy this is my brute funa 520 set uh, i've got mine from aliexpress i do believe you can get these from amazon now they come in two 240 sets so i think you can actually buy them separately um, they're lovely pencils but let's be honest it's ridiculous ridiculous don't be collecting ridiculous things um you can get 120 brute funa squares for like 16 pounds and you know be good be set for life so uh, my Holbein pastel set these are <laughs> these are very controversial for people aren't they I love these pencils for blending out other pencils they are absolutely beautiful but they're a very thick opaque pencil that you know can be rather off-putting for people I've got the Georgie Orn set here of 72 these are from the grabby site and these are nice uh, the Albrecht Jura, I got the little 68, like um, like a limited edition set. These are by Faber-Castell and they match up with your polychromos and they are beautiful watercolour pencils, really nice. The Lyra Rembrandt Polycolour are a lovely set, a very firm oil base pencil set um, so you have to like that kind of thing but I've really loved working with them I've got some Derwent Pastel pencils gorgeous the Astra Pastelo 
Um, these are like a really budget version of pastel pencils and they are lovely. My Derwent Inktense, obviously a very unique set of pencils. Those are water-based, well, water-activated pencils, but they're actually an ink, they're Indian ink. So once you activate them and set them, you're not going to be able to move them later and you get very vivid colours with those. So they are a little bit different to everything else. Checking I don't have any pencil cases lying around and I've missed anything in here. I don't think so. And then my last bits and pieces, I've got some Cosmic sh cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste. Gorgeous. And the Nouveau Embellishment Mousses. Absolutely gorgeous. Not cheap though. Um, and that brings us to my little pot of like stickles stickles gorgeous amazing they're not cheap though um you can get the dovecraft version but i don't find those to be quite as nice and sparkly but let's be honest they're like a quarter of the price sometimes so you know can you sacrifice a little bit of sparkle for a pound yes you can I do have these Nouveau Crystal Drops. These are beautiful for like three-dimensional embellishments. Um, the, you can get the Dovecraft, which is like, again, very inexpensive um, version of the same sort of thing. And they are very pretty in their own right. Um, in the back here, I've got things like uh, Crystal Drops. And, of course, different versions of glossy accents, crackle accents, things like that. I use these a lot and I do enjoy those. That is my um, Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White for colouring lines. Very nice. Uh, and then we've got random inks and things for card making there. Um, so, yeah, that whew, brings me... <laughs> To the end of my colouring supplies. So, as I knew I would, I'm keeping most of my things. I'm getting rid of a handful of stuff. We'll find some nice homes for things. I feel like what I've got is, you know, still a ridiculous amount. But, you know, for my channel, it works. I need the pencils for my projects. I use a lot of different pencils. Um, it is what it is. I actually, I've just spotted these. I've got the Colour of the World Crayola, keeping those. Um, a spare little box of Polycolor that I had before I got the big set, so I'll keep those. But I have this set of um, Mitsubishi num Uni number 888, which is their student grade. I've used these mm, possibly once or twice. They're a gorgeous set of pencils. They're just not my favourite. I'm not a big fan. Um, so I am going to set those to one side and find a home for those. Yes, I think we'll do that. Ignore my cup. I'm a fan of fancy player, so <laughs> I am... Um... A big Mog fan. Um, so, yeah, I hope this has been useful in some weird way. Um, a little look into my kind of uh, what's the word how I feel about you know the supplies I have just realized I've got a set of the macaron here as well haven't hardly used those yet use them a little bit seem nice they're on my to try pile you see so nothing really um, gets added into my collection till it gets past that pile of stuff to one side my super colors are in there as well um, but yeah, as always guys, if you found the rambling useful or interesting in any way, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.